When dealing with true believers, if you tell them what they want to hear, no matter how many times that they've been lied to by you, or you say that you've been lied to by that source, you'll believe them because they say what you want to hear. That goes for religions and UFO believers and UFO religions. First one. Hey, bro, you lost me. And then he asked me if I said something. A video that some Germans made for a CGI project or whatever was taken by the U.S. government, Navy, and passed to something their radar caught. If yes, why would they do that? No. What I said was the following. Badly. But let me synopsize because we're over a year later. Here is a website over here that is involved exclusively in doing movie special effects and making movies. It also uses college students and, and interns to do projects and hires out equipment and services to help you with yours. And on that server at one time, a video was posted. And that video, as far as we can tell from looking at it, because we can still download it from archive.org, shows a video feed from an infrared camera tracking something. It could be a, a still object, a balloon, a bird, a high-speed missile. You can analyze it and figure out what it's done. And you can find out that it is not depicting anything that would be unusual or impossible to explain. The other two videos like that, by the way, can be explained by one of those answers, by the way, I just gave. Literally, a balloon, a bird, and probably just a jet. Anyway, the video that was promoted later on by someone for a story they told about UFOs was debunked immediately. That story was posted the day before, slightly modified, changing some of the facts so that they can make a cool story on some web board. And they used this video, a link to it, that day. The only thing that ever linked to it that I could find was that story. The website obviously linked to it at one point, but the author, the controller of the website, has stated flat out he can't find any backup copies of data. It's been too many years. All he knows is the video was there. He doesn't want to be involved in any of it. He doesn't know who authored it. He's not even sure how it got there. Doesn't mean it got there because it was hacked into like the fake poster posted, who's probably a 14-year-old kid. What it means is we can't track it any better than that, but that is the oldest version. It's the original one shows every sign of it, or at least it should. Meanwhile, another person posted a very similar story, but a lot more credible sounding, at least, well, okay, for UFO standards, who was actually in the military and was a pilot. And it was his first time on a specific activity with a specific type of plane, apparently, and on a uh, air carrier, uh, aircraft carrier. And... That person has changed the story repeatedly. You can find an older version of the same story, like I said. And at no time did this person claim that they had a video to back any of this up. And one of the people involved in the group trying to promote this story, who got away with it somehow because suddenly all the news agencies stopped fact-checking and the military didn't argue with them. One of the people claims to have been in the military and it's been found out since then he was, sort of, but he wasn't doing what he said he was. He's lied about his past. And the pilots, um, you know, they're not in the military anymore. And one of the people involved in this little crew, the new crew, not the original poster, he was probably a 14-year-old kid, uh, acts like a 14-year-old kid, uh, one, of the, one of the crew, but he uh, used to be in a rock band, and he had a bunch of debts to pay off. And they had a lot of GoFundMe going on and that sort of thing. And the other videos, like I said, have been explained. Because you can do that. You can analyze this. The only person who's not wanting to explain them have done things like you're talking about, where the U.S. military, Navy, whatever, downloaded the video from To The Stars Academy and re-uploaded the video, all three of them. That's not a corroboration. That means they just literally cut and paste the files. At one time, they would just say vaguely, if these videos came from any of our equipment or any equipment that was secured, it shouldn't have been released. 
And it should also be mentioned that <clears throat> in the military, the only thing you can be punished for, one of many things you can be punished for, but the main one we're talking about here is that after you leave the military, if you accurately depict something that happened while you were in uniform that you're not supposed to talk about, you can get in trouble. If you lie about what you did in the military, they won't prosecute you because there's no reason to, because you're not divulging anything. No, I didn't say it was a radar video, it was an infrared. No, I didn't say they passed it off as something else for the radars. And yeah, CGI or whatever, it could have just been stock footage from Raytheon. Nobody knows where it came from. All the sources are gone, the real ones. And I'd like to point out the To The Stars Academy didn't invoke this video, even though it's been sitting on that server for a long time. And they won't tell anybody where they got the video from. Because supposedly the person making the claim, at least once or twice, said that the video recordings weren't in his possession. He's made up an incredibly convoluted story about this. Has he ever described what the recordings were made on? What was the medium? Because you could confirm or deny that? And again, these could just be anything on test videos of them chasing down some damn rocket drone or chasing another plane at a distance. Or a bird. Or a balloon. <clears throat> Next. I was told to look at a video that's supposed to be about Mike from around the world. And it really was a video that was leading to Paul Bagley. I call him a false Christian doomsdayer date setter exploiting people. And just like me pointing out that the U.S. military and government lying to you about a UFO story, but you taking it hook, line, and sinker, and the media going along with it isn't, isn't, isn't something you're suspicious about. Having Paul Bagley literally get caught lying over and over again, one of the things that's a, a, a rule in, in, in religion is if you claim that you're letting the body of Christ take you over and forgive your sins, nobody's allowed to question it. So no matter how many times everybody earthly catches you lying, as long as you claim to be a Christian, it's not like you can ever just lie about that. Somehow it's a magic word that makes you incapable of lying about this. Uh, Paul Bagley lies about shit. But anyway, let's, uh, I'm just not even going to explain it any further. But anyway, someone else who invokes the name of God and is lying, Mike from around the world, did a video, or did a video podcast at one time <clears throat> on a website, June 15th, 2014. In his, uh, in his uh, persona of uh, Mike from around the world, in the persona of a high-ranking uh, military intelligence person <clears throat> who's in charge of thousands of people somehow, left an open mic moment um, that was supposed to be him barking orders and giving coordinates right after doing a podcast for some operation somewhere to add to his credibility. He added audio in the background from a video that was made a year earlier on Live Week. On Live Week. It was the one called Two Apaches Kill Multiple Taliban Insurgents Near Afghan-Pakistan Border. I got called out on that. And of course, true believers would not ever doubt him. Because no matter how big the proof pile is, the lie is a more important thing to believe. Anyway, this is on a, a, under the auspice of, or on a website from um, M. Palmer's Council of Time, a site named after a Doctor Who Supreme Council on a planet called Gallifrey. Um, <clears throat> anyway, um, Mike from around the world also ran around with BP Earthwatch, Hagman and Hagman, Pine Ridge Warriors, Paul Bagley, and all the others, while invoking the name of Jesus and lying to your face, creating a really cool story, bro. Me pointing out that this is easily double-checked, just like you can just go to archive.org and find the F4 MPEG video and watch the fucking thing and find out, yeah, it's identical. People even, well, it's not identical. It's pixel for pixel identical, except for the shit grade recopying that's gone through because people did the standard UFO thing of fucking it up. And the fact that you can go check on blog after blog after blog, pointing out that Mike from around the world or Paul Bagley or BP Earthwatch have lied. 
but they're good Christians. I don't give a shit whether you label them a good or bad person. They're lying. Not making a mistake. Falsifying evidence. So I'm going to read the critique, the very rational critique. Where are your facts against them? The link's below in the description that you refuse to read. The world's coming to an end for you godless heathens. You're supposed to say godless hordes. Excuse me. Mm -mm. A man of the heath isn't a bad thing. I'd be better off if I was. Look around you. Has the earth ever had so much happening at the same time? Yes, a lot more, actually. Like, literally always. We're having a lot less crap happen most of the time, but this year is the one of those apocalyptic things, you know, I guess. It's easy to say there is no God, then you have no moral responsibility or guilt for stating a fact, or are you saying that if a person refuses to accept Jesus Christ and their soul, that they're a lying sack of shit that's willing to falsify evidence? Meanwhile, these people claiming the same thing are falsifying evidence and getting caught. Every fucking day. Belief is through f faith. I believe things based on facts. I don't believe them based on faith because people like you walk this earth and prove to me every day that that's a trap. Not having to look for proof, some get proof, some see miracles, and some have supernatural battles. So you're saying that fantasy world shit is much more important. Are you on a lark? You wear cat ears, don't you? Mr. Bagley has never publicly stated, never publicly stated, oh, that's interesting, the world was going to end on a certain date. Yes, he fucking did, but that's an interesting tell on your part. I know, that means that you couldn't find it. You weren't looking. Saying any day now or before the end of the month is setting a date. Well, any day now doesn't mean the next thousand years. He states that the signs are showing us the return of Jesus Christ is near, and people have been saying that for a hundred years, but none of them ever literally were wrong, bare minimum, or lying, which is what they were doing. So the signs were wrong before, or maybe they misinterpreted them, or you shouldn't have trusted them. This is a fucking trap if you're trying to prove this. But me pointing out that Medical science makes mistakes sometimes and corrects it means that they're always wrong because I've admitted, I've confessed that medical science was wrong once. Therefore, COVID-19 is not a transferable disease. I think people like WAPTEC have a problem with God and not Pastor Bagley. No, I don't have a problem with a God. I've never actually said that there is no God. I just said that my, my assertion is your idea of a God is cartoonishly inept and impossible and isn't a god. Meanwhile, we, people who actually study the universe, find out that it's incredibly, entirely, much too overwhelming to ever really understand completely. And you could easily invoke a god as a cause of it. A prime. An omega. That's not a problem. But you're not going to find any proof of it within this. It doesn't carry god's footprint. Or fingerprints. Watchmakers clean their work before they turn them over to the owner. Hate, hatred of anything God or vir virtuous. So I'm supposed to hate virtue because I won't join your religion and listen to you asshats without critically analyzing whether or not you have your head fully up your ass or only partially rectally inverted. That's the work of Satan. You wearing a cape? You Wiccan? Druid? Luciferian? It's a hoodie, you fuckwad. Your message is obvious. Yes, because I leave links to my sources and actually tell people things they can go con confirm or deny. You don't even address the subject. You're the one invoking special language and misquoting the Bible eventually in here, too. And accusing me of being... I don't go to Hot Topic. I go to Goodwill. Look, I'm done with you. Everybody else in life is probably done with you, too. And you're the, you're the poster child of why nobody takes you seriously. The only reason I'm an atheist is actually because of people like you. Because you can't stop being bombastically stupid while claiming to be virtuous and refusing to accept any critique. I put up with you. You don't need to put up with me. Go someplace else and be told you're wrong. I'm sure you can find plenty of them.